Hello friends, today we are taking a question that how cube roots of unity represents the vertices of uh, an equilateral triangle. So first of all we will understand uh, what is the cube root of unity. So solution, let us say z is equal to 1 to the power 1 by 3. To this we can write it as or z cube is equal to 1 or z cube minus 1 is equal to 0. To this we can also write it as z cube minus 1 cube meaning like uh, a cube minus b cube. So using the formula of a cube minus b cube we can expand this. So this will give me this yes so that is a minus b and a square plus a b plus b square. So similarly we opened this and we said z minus 1 z square plus z plus 1 equal to 0. Therefore first root we will say that z1 we got as 1 from this side from z minus 1. Now further the two roots we will be getting from this quadratic equation. So second and third roots we will get from this quadratic equation. So we will say that let us say z is equal to minus 1 plus minus root 1 square minus 4 into 1 into 1 upon 2 into 1 because over here a is 1, b is 1, c is 1. Therefore we can write this as minus 3 minus 1 plus minus root minus 3 upon 2. To this we can write it as minus 1 plus minus i root 3 upon 2. Now if we say that the second root is z2 which is minus 1 plus i root 3 upon 2 then z3 that is the third root will be minus 1 minus i root 3 upon 2 that is 2 you can say that way. The concept lies here is that the second root and second root and third root are the conjugate of each other each other therefore therefore z3 will be equal to the square of z2 this is always the case okay so when you will square z2 you will get the conjugate you will get the conjugate of z2 meaning you will square if you will square z3 then you will get z2 and if you will square z2 you will get z3 meaning z2 will be equal to z3 square so meaning is that if one root is omega then the other root will be omega square so if I say that this is omega then this will be omega square. So what roots we found? We found three roots of unity which is 1 omega and omega square. So take changing the sheet we can say that cube roots of unity are omega plus omega omega square plus omega plus 1 equal to 0. Now we know the roots first one is this second one is omega which is minus 1 plus i root 3 whole by 2 which can be written as minus 1 by 2 plus i root 3 by 2 omega is square which is third root this is z2 this is z3 
so this is minus half this will be minus half minus i root 3 by 2 if we plot this in an argand diagram argand diagram meaning this is imaginary axis and this is a real axis so we will plot z1 as 1 this is 1 comma 0 this is minus 2 and minus half sorry that's my mistake My let's say minus half is over here so minus half and let's say this is somewhere root 3 by 2 is here so this will be the point to which we can say minus 1 by 2 this is 1 comma root 3 by 2 the conjugate of this point or the conjugate of one root will lie in the opposite quadrant so if this is in second quadrant so omega square will be in the third quadrant so if I plot this in this way this will give me a an equal and this will give me a triangle it's not an equilateral triangle till now because we haven't proved this okay so making these lines as bold now let's say this is a this is B this is C this point P <coughs> this particular point P and this center is O so we from the origin we draw OB and OA okay let's take this as theta angle theta so what we can say that tan theta is equal to y upon x y is your in triangle O P B I'm talking about so in tan, tan theta is equal to y upon x y is your minus root 3 by 2 x is your minus half minus minus got cancelled 2 2 got cancelled it's root 3 so theta is equal to tan inverse root 3 which is equal to 60 degree so this is your 60 degree now similarly this will also be 60 degree so let's take PC is a straight line this PC is a straight line on this line P O A is 60 therefore the remaining angle is 120 angle C O A is 120 similarly angle C O B will also be 120 degree now <clears throat> if I draw a circle then I can take AB as a chord which subtends 120 degree angle at the center and we know by the property of circle that a chord subtends angle 2x on the center and angle x onto the circumference so meaning center angle is double of the angle subtended on the circumference so this will be your 60 degrees if this is 120 so this will be 60 degrees similarly with chord BC center angle is 120 so subtended angle on the circumference will be 60 degree similarly with chord AC angle B will be 60 degree therefore triangle therefore triangle ABC is an equilateral triangle because all the angles are 60 degree once again I'm repeating we plotted the points or we plotted the cube roots of unity that is omega square to which we can say suppose this is omega square this is omega and this is one so we plotted all the points and we connected them so we found it's a triangle from one point p b uh, we 
<coughs> draw a line BO from the origin and we found the angle theta what angle BO is making with the x axis we got that as 60 therefore similarly we drew a line OA and found that angle and that we also found as 60 so the complete angle BOA became 120 similarly all the rest of the angles will also be 120 each then we drew a circle touching the vertices of the triangle and we took every line of the triangle as a chord and we checked that that chord any chord is subtending 120 degrees on the center and as by the property of circle we know that the chord subtends if a chord subtends 2x onto the center then that same chord subtends half angle onto the circumference so if AC is subtending 120 at the center then AC will subtend 60 degree onto the circumference of the circle and this thing will be repeated by every chord so AB, BC, CA all will subtend 60 degree onto the circumference and we will get all angles as 60 which is the property of equilateral triangle therefore we have proved that omega is square omega plus 1 is equal to 0 represents an equilateral triangle meaning cube root of unity represents an equilateral triangle hence proved hope you have would have liked uh, this uh, video and uh, please uh, keep on posting uh, your um, doubts onto our channel you can go through again this is the first slide that we made and through this we calculated first the cube root of unity and we got three roots z1 as 1 z2 as minus 1 plus i root 3 by 2 z3 minus 1 1 minus root 3 by 2 and we stated that the second root and the third root are the conjugate of each other so if the z3 is equal to the z2 square therefore z2 can also be written as z3 square so to z2 we wrote as omega and uh, to z3 we wrote it as omega square because they both are the conjugate of each other and over here we plotted all the points that we got from the roots hope you would have enjoyed the video thank you very much enjoy